y'all, it is hot as fuck on this beautiful Saturday. Just leaving Costco. Mr. Green on the cart. What's up, y'all? I am back in the crib. Um, after being out, what feels like all damn day, it's almost five o'clock. It's 4.44 on the dot, cause we find in the line. <laughs> and um, yeah, but it's like, no, I've just been out all day, um, running errands really per usual. Like what are the weekends for, honestly, besides running errands and taking care of yourself. That's all these days allow you to do. Went to Costco, did a couple, uh, just got grabbed my usuals. Did pick up a few things that I was super excited about too. They finally got some acai bowls. Um, it's another brand, so I'm hoping it's given just like the other ones I would get from there. And then, um, y'all, praise God, there was one box left of the Dole Whip that I've been absolutely obsessed with. Let me show y'all, so I put y'all on. Oh wait, let me show y'all these two I'm at it. I'm gonna chop out down here, but um, these are the <laughs> acai bowls. Um, so hopefully they're good. They come with the granola and everything. So, and then these are the dough whips. I've been absolutely obsessed with. They have one box left. I was tempted to buy two. I was like, girl, don't be greedy. Just get one for now. Costco runs really do be the highlight of my week. Um. Or whenever I go, because I can't go weekly, because I just be running it up in there. Did buy myself some flowers. Ah! This would be a cute thumbnail. Ah! So pretty. Pretty ass pink flowers. Um, I haven't had pink roses in a minute, so I was very excited about these. So I took the month of June off from recording or making any content. Um, for multiple reasons, I just, your girl just needed a second to breathe and to process what was going on in my life at that time. Um, luckily we here, we're here a month later, feeling good, feeling great. Very grateful I took that time to myself. Another reason why I haven't been recording is that my SD card was at capacity. It was done y'all. So I went and grabbed myself a new SD card today from Best Buy. So you know it's real, okay? Couldn't even wait on Amazon. I was like, no, I want to start back today. So I ran up in there and why did I pick up order and, and grab that earlier? Yeah, because I'm kind of ready to get back to it. It is today is July 6th. I was planning on going to Atlanta this weekend and decided not to just have to prioritize some other things that were just a little bit more important I actually have this upcoming Monday off as well Luckily, I was able to get a last-minute hair appointment, which is so unheard of Sis is always booked and busy. I always usually have to book like a month out But something told me this morning just take a look and I kid you not there was an appointment on Monday afternoon I just took My hair out y'all that shit was looking like a hat. It was looking like Okay, it was push back. I was like, baby girl, it's time to just give it up. These headbands ain't saving this, these wefts no mo. So, um, took that out. I need to wash my bundles. They are really mad at though. I was on YouTube this morning, like looking up different remedies and ways to get them unmatted. Some people are using like apple cider vinegar. Other people were doing like the silicone mix, which I've seen before. They didn't have any in the beauty supply store I just went to, so I think I might order it on Amazon. I also am interested in putting like a couple highlighted pieces this time around. I'm gonna do the same curly look. I don't think I show y'all. I end up cutting the hair, so it's more of like a shoulder length bob lob type situation, which I loved. I loved it when it was like its original length, which I had her cut a good bit already. But I need to cut it some up. Instead of cutting my own hair, I decided to cut the weave, okay? This is progress. Lord knows when I'm going through some shit, I'm so quick to pick up the scissors and start anew. But I decided to not be so drastic this time around. And your girl still has her hair intact. Um, I end up wrapping a bundle around here just to give my bun a little bit more, you know, a little more character. Mm. Um, but I'm pretty proud of how my hair is looking right now 
it's it's really healthy in the back the front we're gonna work with but i do like this um flip over method more because i don't have to apply as much heat especially with the curly because it just kind of just blends into it i really don't need to have it straight just got my nails done i don't know if you can see it but i have like this literally just the nude powder that i get and i added like a chrome little like finish on it super cute it literally looks just like my phone case which was honestly my inspo so i did that see how it's like that look at them oh my gosh yes uh, look, I literally just pull inspo from shit in my real life for my nails every single time. I had to go to a new person and a new shop. Well, not a new shop. It's just a shop I don't frequent. Y'all, I made a call. Book my, try to book my appointment with my boy Alex. They gonna tell me Alex ain't there no more. Because <sighs> I hate the fact they leave. And then, of course, they're not gonna tell you where they went. Like, they were not gonna tell me what shop he went to or if he's doing freelance or whatever. So I was irritated as hell, but sis got me right. I love this shape. I kept this shape, did not cut down. I do want my claws back. I tried the shorter look, the medium look. It's cool, but I'm just a long nailed ass bitch. And that's just, it is what it is. I don't care what it gives. I just don't give a fuck, honestly. Like, judge your mama hoe. Like, it's, they just nails. But um, yeah, so I'm growing my nails back. Um, and I'm only saying that because people have definitely said things to me in assumption of like me wearing long nails which i think is so weird i'm like of all things to judge somebody about their nails y'all need to go touch grass as the people be saying go touch grass okay just stop categorizing people altogether. let people be who they want to be anywho um i'm feeling really good i'm a little hungry i have some leftover um bento box from yesterday so i'm about to go heat that up did I tell y'all everything I wanted to tell y'all? Can you tell I didn't take my medication today? I'm all over the place. Let's just get into the look real quick. Because I felt really cute today with my little bun. This is my first time wearing these neck, um, these earrings. I've always wanted like a pair of bamboos with my name. They're not bamboos, but I love the style of them. That's what made me like them even more because they're a little different. Super cute. Okay, so this is the fit. Today, just my little Corrard set. Okay, got the little pants. Um, very cute. So I'm about to heat up my food and chill. And I will check in with you guys a little bit later because I do want to do a bit of a life update. Because we have a lot of things shaking and moving, babes. We have a lot of new shit ahead of us. And, um... It's getting crazy. It's getting crazy in a great in a great way, in a blessed way, in an abundant way, as we are so used to. So we just getting back to our bag, honestly. And I just can't wait to bring you guys a part of this journey. Um, but anyhow, let me check in with you later. Bye. Back home, so I 
had my laser appointment this morning as y'all saw i did do a new area today decided to take a break from my underarm and bikini because honestly i just don't need any more i literally shave my armpits and i have like the smallest thinnest hairs if any there i also decided not to do my face because i might be going out tonight but we'll get back to that later it tends to make me break out so i was like you know what i don't really don't want to do my face today plus i really haven't been seeing much of any hair i did have her touch on my chin though because that is honestly always been this dog here where you want some attention my chin is just that that was my chin was the reason why i started laser altogether mind you i'm not like big on arm hair i really could care less but it's summer and i do like a more clean look of course when i have my um arms out so i do tend to shave them every once in a while i was like let me just try lasering it because i do get these little hair bumps here which i'm noticing are just ingrown hairs so i decided to go ahead and just get my arms so my lines there and for pain level literally like a four out of ten could barely feel it there was a couple spots that were more sensitive it even included my hands and my fingers i think my fingers were the most sensitive because i do have tattoos that's another thing about laser they cannot laser on tattooed areas so she definitely had to go around my tattoo Luckily, it's not like majority of my arm, per se. I do have a couple smaller ones. Um, that's totally fine. I really want to focus more so on these areas that I've just been fighting. I've used all kind of different solutions to get rid of it, and it only works temporarily. So I'm like, let's just try lasering it. Let's see what it does. So... I will make sure to give you an update on that. I do want to do a video, like an overall laser experience video, just to give you guys my overall overall um, outlook and experience thus far. I will say maybe it's been a game changer and a life changer for your girl. So we'll just leave it. So I just got back. Like I said, I'm getting my toes done. All right, so backtrack. I actually made a nail appointment today at 1130. I was going to originally get my nails done and my toes done. But as y'all saw, I went and got my nails done yesterday at the, the other nail shop, right? So today when I was leaving, um, I hopped in the Uber and he was pulling up to Royal Nail, the nail shop that I go to. And I'm like, why is he going to Royal Nail? Y'all, why did I put the wrong address? Uh, for my drop-off location and the funny part is when he dropped me off I was like oh shit well I was supposed to be going here anyways for my nail appointment it was literally 11 30 the same time my appointment was and it was too late for me to change the address so I uh he was just I was just like you know what it's okay I actually have an appointment and I'm gonna get my toes done eh, what a foot free I'm just kidding <laughs> if you are I'm looking for you I just got my traditional ranch which I love so much that just shows you like even when you think you have control you really don't because I didn't I chose not to get my toes done because I was going to get my hair done and I was like you know what let's keep it cute let's keep let's keep the budget cute you know um your girl does have big things coming so she has to be more mindful of her income right and I'm literally telling myself like okay we're not gonna get our toes done we're gonna sacrifice it mind you my feet are feeling rough as hell so your girl was trying to save the coins and I guess God had other plans. The universe was like, no, baby girl, you actually do need that pedicure and you deserve it. So I still end up going to get my pedicure. And um, I just took that as a sign that, you know what, certain things you can do without, but taking care of yourself is just not one of them. And I just need to start looking at life that way. Um, we can cut in other areas. We can not eat out as much we can stop shopping we do all these other things but taking care of me is just truly a necessity at this time self-care is just really prevalent and important and it's just it's just the chapter that i'm in and even when i try to not god is like okay my bad y'all i forgot to replace my 
SD card, but now we're back with the fresh new one. Very exciting. So yeah, like I was saying, um, don't don't even short yourself when you feel like you need to be doing so. That was my lesson of the day because my toes look amazing. And like, honestly, the universe always provides. Like, I don't even know why I worry nowadays. I'm really, you're gonna hear me saying this over and over again because I am definitely in that stage where I'm like, girl, why was you even tripping? What was you really worrying about? And I'm just happy to be back in this faith and this trust and knowing that all is working in my divine favor period like literally every single thing even when i'm trying to make shortcuts it's like there's no it's not even a need to do all that baby girl it's really what is for you is for you just just go for it do what you need to do take care of yourself in the midst of it yes be smart be wise do have do pay attention to your um, what spirit is putting on your heart, on your mind, on what you should be focusing on, what you should be cutting back on or remove yourself from. But all that other shit, trust and believe, baby. So, yeah, that is my testimony for this morning. So, yeah, I'm just feeling really good. I'm feeling very poured into, very just uh but i literally feel this way anytime i'm taking care of myself like self-care literally is the way to me being my best me just feeling amazing so anyways it is still relatively early i think it's just hit one o'clock um i am going to be cooking a little later i am frying some catfish which i'm super excited about i love me some good catfish actually thinking about going out tonight um i kid you not last night almost at midnight i'm on i was on twitter and i saw that larry june is gonna be out here um tonight and literally larry june is probably the only person that can get me to go to the club on a sunday during a holiday weekend but I really want to go. I know it's kind of a late thing. I probably won't be leaving here until like close to 11 o'clock. Ooh, that sounds so grown. I ain't been out in them hours in the streets in so long. And then crazy thing about it, I'm pretty sure I'm doing this solo. Really don't have any homegirls I can really call on and go to the club. I probably, I probably do, but I'd rather not. Um, I very much, it's more of like a concert. It's at Drea's. So they're calling it like a Larry June concert because, you know, at Drea's, the artists perform. I've been to Drea's a couple, well, actually, no, I've only been to Drea's once actually. And it was for our, their beach club or our day club party. I've never gone solo to the club before. And the crazy thing is I have not been drinking. So I don't think I want to drink, um, this evening. I have not had a drink in almost a month now. And even before that it had been a few weeks like so that's something that i'm just kind of leaning off of for this summer and i feel good about it so who knows i might get there and get a little anxious and decide to get me an alcoholic beverage anywho i will check in with you guys later bye <laughs>
Okay, y'all, it's over. I'm just tired, y'all. It's like two. I'm pretty sure it's almost three o'clock in the morning. Holy, my Uber's about to pull up. I really wanted a Tesla, and guess what I got, y'all? A white Tesla. The Tessie is picking me up. Ooh, bitch, I'm about to sleep so fucking good. But that shit was so much fun. Oh my gosh, what a night. Good morning, y'all. Please, please excuse my appearance. I am looking crusty dusty, okay? It's the morning after. I am just wanted to tap in because I'm in the midst of reviving these bundles before my appointment first of all y'all hold on hold on let me just show y'all look at this lean oh my god my tongue probably looks disgusting but look at this length okay same bundles i have in from last time i'm putting right back because they are still amazing i bought raw hair with this particular trippy hair that i've been buying on amazon i feel like i get at least like two wears out of it for sure could probably do three but honestly after that i'll be ready to so just did one and as soon as i saw the results i was like hold on let me show them how i am reviving these bundles because let me show you what this was looking like before mind you this is just shampoo no conditioner yet so let me just start showing you the product so i am using the silicone mix shampoo and I'm also using the hair treatment. I bought these in a set together from Amazon. Can't wait to keep using this on all of my bundles moving forward. Even like when I have it installed and just kind of need to get my my hair back right. So y'all, this is what it's looking like before. Crazy, right? It's looking absolutely insane. Um, but we're gonna turn these to this. Before I actually do that, I'm gonna go ahead and put some of the treatment in this, like this much. Just kind of work it through. Hmm, that's a nice smell to it. Perfect. So I'm gonna let that sit. I think let's just leave it for like two to three minutes. Okay. I'll just let it sit while I work on the other bundle. Make sure you get this top part at the rubber band, so just want to make sure all of it gets washed. Alright, here we go. 
five hundred sound and the book blade. Okay. Okay. So those are all done. I'm gonna rinse them out. Let's see what it's giving. This is crazy. I'm gonna rinse in cool water. All right. All three bundles back looking right. This one looks the best because I actually never used it, but we are all done. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and dye that little highlighted piece and I'll check back with you guys in a little bit. Probably when I'm starting to get ready. Okay, bye. All right, so I'm back. I am all dressed and ready for my hair appointment. Outfit is Skims. Wearing my really cute Tory Burch sandals. Um, I think I showed y'all in the in the last vlog that I um, I showed them to you when I was out shopping. Yeah, I ended up getting those. I love them. I have those on. Just put my hair up in a cute little cloth. With my curls they are popping and thriving very minimal on the face and then let me also show you the highlighted pieces so this is what we got with just one bleach super cute i love this color so originally i had the idea of ombre all of my bundles but I was a little nervous. I wasn't sure how the color would work on this hair. It's my first time ever dyeing this brand of hair, but I think it did really well. Very minimal shading. So I'm gonna have her like highlight a couple pieces in the front with it. Very excited. Give it a new look, refresh the look. Um, it's gonna be like a little bob. Very cute. Super excited. So I already requested my Uber. It should be pulling up momentarily. I'm gonna go grab me a snack or something because, of course, I have not ate today. Which is never good after going out. But I didn't really drink like that. Uber's about to pull up. I should be on time to my appointment. Check in with you later. Are you going first? Just waiting. I love this. That's cute. 